Muy bien. So, I want to talk to you about this. I want to talk to you guys about this specific moment. Okay? If you look at it, you see a group of people chasing away somebody. Okay? This monument re represents the Battle of Santa Rosa and the Battle of Rivas. Okay? This takes place back in 1856. This battle was against a man called William Walker. Okay? William Walker was born in Nashville, Tennessee back in 1824. His father was a great banker, giving all the money, all the opportunities, money to give to a young boy to become a lawyer, a doctor, whatever he wants. But instead, he moves to the West Coast of the United States, he moves to California, and he gets a little cover-up of a newspaper joint, gathers a group of very interesting friends, and they create a group they call themselves the Philly Buster. Okay? A uh, Philly Buster was a very big for the world of pirates. They were like mercenaries. You might uh, this mercenary, in a moment time, in a moment time, they took over Baja California. You know what Baja California is? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They took over Baja California and they declared Baja California the Republic of Baja California. He was president of no one. Nobody lived there. It was a whole bunch of empty lots. But anybody coming from Mexico to the United States or the opposite direction and went through the Republic of Baja California had to pay taxes to go through. So obviously, neither the U.S. authorities or the Mexican authorities were very happy about this issue. This was for like a two month, two, two, two month, three month period. So they went after him and he decided, no, 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 I'm just squattering land here, I'll give it back, no, 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 no harm is done. And he got out of that one. In 1855 specifically, there was a civil war going on in Nicaragua. It's in two cities, the city of Granada and the city of Leon. Leon was the official capital of Nicaragua and Granada was the commercial capital. So these two cities get in a fight and Leon hires William Walker and his men to fight the Civil War uh, in 1855 in Nicaragua. He comes over, gets going on the war, and he wins the Civil War for the, for the Leon side, okay? They were very pleased with his services, they paid him his money, and they have even offered him to stay in Nicaragua if he wanted. And he gave it a thought, and he said, I have looked around Central America, and he specifically said, I believe Central America has great potential, okay? You know what great potential means for somebody that has that mentality coming from, from let's say in this case, Nashville, Tennessee, in Tennessee, okay? He looked around and he noticed that throughout Central America there was a lot of native indigenous groups, okay? And he figured out he can take over Central America. His plan was take over Central America, make Central America part of the United States, he was gonna be the governor of Central America and he was gonna take the indigenous people and use them as slaves, commercialize with them as slaves, okay? We got the gossip and he, we got the gossip that he was, he was gonna start with Costa Rica, okay? Why Costa Rica? Very simple. Coming from Guatemala to Costa Rica, uh, you got Guatemala, we have El Salvador, you got Honduras, Nicaragua. So Guatemala, 85% of the population was considered native indigenous groups. In El Salvador was 80%. In Honduras was 75%. Nicaragua was 65%. Costa Rica was, at that time, was 0.5%. There was hardly any indigenous groups in Costa Rica. So, obviously, to carry out his plan, he needed to take over Costa Rica first, and then from there, move on up to, towards the north, okay? We got the gossip, like I said, and we had the first encounter with him, the uh, 20th of March, 1856, he comes to Costa Rica to take over Costa Rica, so we were waiting for him. We kicked him out of twenty minutes. So I don't know if you want to call that a battle or, or a fight or whatever, but we got him out of here in twenty minutes. But he goes back to Nicaragua to gather all his forces to fight against Costa Rica because we declared the war in him. We joined the army of Costa Rica back in eighteen fifty six. We had an army, so we joined the army of Costa Rica with the army of Honduras, a little section of the army of Peru that came to help us out. And it was actually an English vessel running around the Caribbean. They came out, who came down to help us out too. And we went to fighting in Nicaragua, in a place called Rivas, that was the name of the town. And the name of the battle is called the Battle of Rivas because of the town. And there was a small fort, which was called El Luzon. From there, he had a very good strategic point to be shooting from. So it was very difficult to approach it, okay? The only way that we could win the battle was by burning down the fort, okay? So we had a drummer boy called Juan Santa Maria. He says, the drum aside, picks up the torch and goes down and sets fire to the fort. Okay, this way, we're able to win the battle against William Walker. But William Walker made a very, very stupid mistake. Okay, he sent his brother to give up on the front door. 
brother came out and said, we're giving up, we're giving up. No, I'm William Walker, I'm William Walker, we're giving up, okay? And he ran away to the back door. Ah. He was going back home, but he was caught by the Honduran army in El Salvador, in the Pacific side of El Salvador. In Honduras, in Honduras, there was death penalty for war crimes. Oh. If we would have gave up in Nicaragua by the coast, you know, getting, giving up to the Costa Rican army, in Costa Rica we didn't have death penalty for those things. He was going to be sent to jail for the rest of his day. But, or he could have been sent back to the States, but no. He runs away, he is caught in El Salvador. I guess karma kind of caught up with him. And he was taken to Honduras where he was placed against the wall. Before he was shot, he said, all of you got me misunderstood. All I wanted was the best thing for Central America. I wanted Central America to be part of the great nation of the United States, and you guys blew it. Like, sorry, bye yeah. Bye. We lost something in the translation. There was no Spanish school back then, you know, so we got rid of him. For Nicaragua and for Costa Rica, this is a great, a huge page of history because we had to fight for the stability, for the democracy of our nation. The, the independence in Central America, guys, came really, really easy. We had it very easy. All we had to do back in 1821, when we became independent from Spain, almost literally was ask Spain, hey, can you let us go? We want to be independent. And Spain said, yeah, sure. Where do you want me to sign? Obviously, there was some negotiation, but in general, that's what it was. Why so easy? You know that the most of the countries around the world that have become independent from someone, most of the time they had to fight for it. We didn't have to fight for it. It was easy. The Spaniards, by 1821, they, they had been in Central America for hundreds of years already, taking away gold, jay, you know, all our richer values, slaves, animals. They took as much as they can. By the end of the 1700s, beginning of the 1800s, I explained to you who was living in Costa Rica, right? Okay? The Peninsulares, the Criolos, the Tizos, okay? So now it was time for Spain to stop taking so much and it was time for Spain to start putting money back into Central America. Okay? Apples of systems, buildings, you know, roadways, the whole thing. And Spain said, you know, we're not getting money. nothing out of these guys anymore. And we're putting money into there. And we came up with a bright idea that we want to be independent. But for Spain was like, oh really? Yeah, sure. Yeah, go. You stay independent. The crown still had a lot of saying on the decisions of the country, you know, years after. But we became independent in 1821. And, uh, this obviously, since it became so easy, we didn't have the flavor of what is it to fight for your stability. So that's why the Battle of Rivas is highly celebrated in Costa Rica and in Nicaragua for this situation. In the statue, you see the uh, nations all together, but there's a falling man at the other side. And, um, that's Nicaragua, because Nicaragua was the one that was affected the most with the arrival of, of the arrival of William Walker.